Froggy? Did I say Froggy? I meant Foggy Frosty Starts. It's those frogs and fosses that get to me every time. All right, this is the state of excitement this evening. Actually, I'm going to step right out of the picture and let you have a really good look at these fronts moving through while I thank Joel for his information on the forum, one of the worst storms he's seen in years for the northwest coast of Tasmania. Uh, Joel says he wished it had lasted longer. I don't know whether many would join you there, but Joel is a bit of a storm chaser. Thanks also to Kim as we watch this extraordinary band of showers go through uh, for giving me the information about the fire at Mount Wellington. I believe it cost, took $4 million damage was... Uh, incurred by that fire. And also thanks to Jeff Sharman, who is in the Central Highlands, who let me know about that snow falling. He said their uh, snow was not settling at five o'clock, but it has started. Thanks very much to all those people for ringing in with their information. Let's now have a look at the Tasmanian totals. And thanks, Joel, pronunciation. Okay, here we go. Laiwani, I hope so. Uh, what I can tell you is Matsika Island. There you go. I hope I'm doing well. All right, let me step back and you can have a look at the wind speeds at the moment. They were gusting to 130 kilometres an hour on Matsika Island earlier today. Temperatures across the state reasonably cool tonight. Showers increasing to rain periods overnight and tomorrow and uh, a few showers developing overnight for the northern districts and increasing again into tomorrow. The strong winds just maintaining storm force and gale force. Showers and highland snow for the west and the south on Tuesday and uh, more drizzle in the west and later for the north on Wednesday with those winds remaining strong right through until Thursday where we're anticipating some more highland snow. Pretty clear into Tasmania and what a remarkable state you are tonight and what a remarkable state you're in. Storm force winds for southern coasts and gale warnings for the rest of Tasmania as the cold front leaves the east. You can see it's a really good picture there. Cloud and showers obviously persisting in the west and uh, and generally the west, the south and for the central plateau I'd add into there. Hail is possible as the colder air moves over the south but it's mostly clear as you can see in the east. Now this is an astonishing radar after the last eight hours. There have been lines into the pink as that has flowed across and it now looks like what's occurring for the northwest parts is still reasonably heavy. Joel said one of the most amazing storms he has seen through Tasmania uh, ever for the northwest coast yesterday. Low 1A. 10.6 millimetres, oh, that, that is a very tricky one. I, I really do find that tricky. But uh, what I can tell you is Matsika Island, I know I keep stressing that I can pronounce that one finally, 5.6 millimetres. So some really good falls there, almost 10 millimetres for Strawn on the west coast, even Hobart getting seven millimetres and those are going to continue to go up. Winds are going to ease somewhat overnight, but um, it certainly doesn't look very much like that at the moment, does it? So the showers will increase to rain periods overnight and tomorrow we're getting even more of that for you. Uh, very cold temperatures, it's 13 degrees for Strawn in those gale force, continuing gale force to storm force winds tomorrow and uh, showers right the way across. We're looking at more low, small hail as well. Showers and highland snow persisting for the west and south into Tuesday, although finally the winds will ease up properly. Drizzle in the west and later in the north into Wednesday and the winds will strengthen again as that next front moves across and it'll be colder behind it with showers and more snow for you with the southwesterly winds no doubt kicking in by Thursday. So very uncomfortable conditions for the next couple of days or three days really for Tasmanians. Cloud